Josh Taylor versus Teofimo Lopez. You know what? I'm actually looking forward to this fight more now than I actually had in the previous coming weeks. And um, as far as Teofimo Lopez and his remarks about ESPN and uh, regarding certain fighters in ESPN and promotion and whatever and whatnot, you want to know what's interesting about that? His fight is coming up on June 10th, right? And he's he's complaining about promotion and he was feeling some kind of way because he felt that ESPN was promoting the uh, black fighters more or whatever and whatnot. And uh, this is the thing. To me, Teofimo Lopez had the perfect setup around him. The only thing that played him out of position was him. Because as far as promotion goes, Teofimo Lopez would have had one of the most biggest promotional platforms that a boxer could have. Last time I checked, Teofimo Lopez was supposed to be in Creed 3. Am I wrong? And what, Creed 3 just dropped really, what, like three months ago? You know, big movie, successful movie. You know, um, as far as promotion goes, and plus his fight is coming up, um, that would have been one of the most um, perfect lead-ups to his fight and brought attention to his fight. As a matter of fact, he would have been, besides Terrence Crawford, he would have been the only fighter in the movie, well, Canelo Alvarez too, um, active in real time. You know, and that would have helped put attention on this upcoming match. You know, because Creed 3 was a big and talked about movie. And he was supposed to be in it. So the real question is, is what happened to Teofimo Lopez in Creed 3? Why did he get recast? And this is the thing. From what my understanding is, his parts were already recorded. They, are, they already filmed his stuff. So his stuff was already in the bag. You just wait for it to come out. So what happened between then and now where you get recast or cut out of the movie? Which is a big promotional opportunity. What happened? Now in the upcoming George Cambosis fight, things still seem to be on. You know, everything seemed to still be rolling with Creed. You know, and that would have benefited right around now. So you wouldn't have to worry about whatever shine you think they was getting on ESPN. Whatever they was giving them, nothing was going to be bigger than that. Facts or fiction? That facts? I think that's facts. Right there. So what happened? Nobody really knows, but one thing for sure happened. Something went wrong. Something went wrong. And whatever it was, you lose it to Cam Boses or how you lost to Cam Boses and the excuses that you made and the people that you crossed on the way there and the people that you didn't pissed off and the people that you didn't talked about and the people that you didn't clown and the people that you just said you ain't going to give opportunities to. Um, um, uh, this is my year. This is my Kobe year. I'm, I, I, I'm ball hogging it. I'm not going to pass it to none of y'all. You remember all that, right? I know you remember all that. Pissing off Bob Arum and the rest of them. I know you remember all that. All that. The point is, whatever happened, your actions and something that you did and how you was acting played you out of position. So the fact that he was complaining about whatever promotion they was getting, he had the biggest platform to be promoted on. Now, you can't tell me certain groups of fighters took that opportunity away from you, too. No, that had to be you at the end of the day. You and only you. Because that would have been great for you. Now what happened between now and then? Nobody knows. And he hasn't said anything. But it's not like I haven't paid attention. The only person that you can ask the answers for that for is in the mirror. Because it ain't nowhere else. That was a great opportunity. What happened? 